Hi Aries, this is Jackie Tomlin and this is your general reading for the week of November 2nd, 2020. Thank you guys for stopping by. As always, if you're enjoying these videos, please take the time to like, share, subscribe, retweet. I greatly appreciate it. And if you're seeking a psychic reading, contact me at JackieTomlin.com or find a link to those readings located below this video. Okay, Aries, you've got some great energy uh, going around you. Now, granted, the last day of retro is the third. Takes a couple of days after that to kind of shake, uh, shake that ick off. Uh, one thing that we do know um, under retro is the past coming back. And I do see Aries is reuniting with someone from your past, okay? Um, and this person is um, someone you used to be close to, it looks like. Uh, but bringing in new opportunities, okay? Now, this is a week about new beginnings. This is a week for Aries to take your power back. It's uh, a lesson learned in the past, probably with this past person, um, that you're a little skeptical of, but it does indicate you're on the right path. Now, one thing I do see here is if you are separated from someone or something, please know that it is just temporary, okay? Uh, a lot of good energy, a lot of people around you, so let's take a look. We're looking at Aries. Aries, this is your week of November 2nd, 2020. All right, Aries. You guys start with that wheel. Major Arcana, the Wheel of Fortune. Then you have the Five of Pentacles. Okay. And we show the Queen of Cups. So let's go over the first three with you guys. Uh, starting with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. This is showing the Wheel of Fortune. Things are finally turning to your favor. Okay. Looks like you've been through a point where maybe you felt like you're beating your head against the wall, that you're not getting anywhere. You're not being as productive as you hoped. Well, this wheel indicates things are finally going your way. Next to that, I have the five of pentacles where you're working and gaining. You're still struggling a little bit financially. There's still some financial challenges ahead, but I really want to let you know that these are going to be very, very brief and passing. Next to that, we have the Queen of Cups. And this is that person that I said was coming in to assist you, okay? This is also a Scorpio-type energy, uh, so you know. And, you know, this is someone, like I said, you might be a little skeptical of. This could very well be the person from the past. Now, moving forward, Aries, you have the Ace of Swords. You have the Five of Swords. And we have the Four of Cups. Okay. So, Aries, you've got the Ace of Swords showing you guys, so like I said in the beginning of the video, you're under a new beginning, and that new beginning is now. And with that, we have the Four of Swords. And the Four of Swords is telling you to get the rest that you need when you need it. Okay. But it's also telling you to be a little bit more open-minded when it comes out to adventuring to some new adventures. You have to put some thought behind that. I'm sorry, it's Five of Swords. Put some thought behind it. It looks like your defense is very high. And like I said, I think it has to do with this person from the past because there is a lesson well learned there. That Four of Cups, there it is, that unexpected offer. I still say this is one offer coming in from one person from the past. And we have the Page of Swords, okay? And the Page of Swords also representing a Taurus. Someone happy-go-lucky, someone a little bit aloof. Um, someone who wants to really push to get things done, okay? And then we have the Seven of Wands. And that Seven of Wands, working, gaining, okay? Um... I'm not going to say deception here. It's moving forward, but delays are there as well. Something that might be a little bit of procrastination on your part, but something that you're delaying on purpose. And we end with that Ace of Pentacles, which is always a good sign, which is a new beginning in your financial sector. And after we see this financial stress appear, 
like I said, that's going to be brief and passing for you guys. Um, everything here looking real well, but I did notice that you guys, right here in this column, we got two fives. And fives are representing challenges. And the challenges are finances at first, and then, of course, you feeling defensive. Okay, that lesson well learned in the past. Okay, I've got a lot of energies going on around you other than ones I mentioned. Uh, there's also a Gemini and a Pisces energy as well. So let's jump over here to the Halloween tarot and see. Happy Halloween, everyone. What you guys, what my Aries need to know for the week of the second. And this will be the last you see these this year. Aries. That's what I thought. This is the Knight of Pumpkins. There is a good business deal coming in for you guys. This money situation that I'm seeing here, the money that I see you stressing over, there's the Six of Pumpkins, total victory. It is all coming out to your favor. So if you're struggling financially, if there's something you're worried about financially, just know it's going to be brief and passing. So there you have a Taurus, uh, Aries, my Aries, I know not Taurus yet, but you do have a Taurus energy here. Everything looking good for the week ahead, move forward, do so in a positive light. New opportunities await. Bye.